So how can one doll help put a smile on a child's face, employ adults with developmental disabilities, and feed families thousands of miles away? Natalie Guthrie explains. When Hurricane Katrina struck, people across the nation mobilized with support in many different ways. And for the Dolly Mamas, Lisa Lazdowski and Darlene Mangone, they used the magic of their cuckoo dolls to help. These children um, had lost everything. And they didn't just need food and clothing. That was being taken care of. But they lost all of their toys. They lost all of their, their comfort. And so that's why we started. Cuckoo dolls are a line of multicultural knitted felted dolls that are available as kits, patterns, and will soon become available as finished dolls. The dolls come in 52 different varieties, and the kits are now available in stores all over the United States and in Canada. They even have a DVD made by international knitter and designer Lucy Neatby that gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a doll. The concept behind Cuckoo Dolls was fueled by the duo's passion for knitting, as well as helping women and children. The business is based based on the thought that more profit means more help for others in need. That's what we're all about. When we started doing this, we were working and providing and donating and doing all that stuff and um, to, to get to people who needed some help. But then we said, if we started a company, we could help more. The dolls were once created in Lisa's yarn shop, the creative warehouse in Needham. But as the two women grew and their dolls became more sought after, they enlisted the help of the Charles River Center. They're putting our kits together. They, they get the uh, patterns, they get, the, uh, they get all the yarn and the bags and everything, and they put the kits together. They're absolutely amazing, and they're sending them out now. They're our manufacturer. These dolls not only help employ adults with developmental disabilities locally, but they are also helping families globally with its work with Connect Africa. The Connect Africa Foundation helps villagers in Uganda who are struggling to support children orphaned by AIDS. Dr. Lynnis Arlbeck, founder and co-director oh, of the organization, has trained about 15 oh, women in Uganda to make cuckoo doll samples. The Dolly Mamas essentially help Ugandan women derive income by knitting the dolls. And for Dr. Dr. Auerbach and her women, this means everything. What they're doing is sensational, and I hope and wish that there are more people like them doing their part. Instead of the business model that you would come back, go to Africa, bring things, come back, get donations, take things back to Africa, we didn't feel it was sustainable. Now there are, are around 15 families helping being supported by making the dolls. My people in Uganda say all the time to think someone is so helpful and loves us who will never, never meet us. And that's just the truth of it, to have that kind of a heart and it be around income. We knew we wanted to do more than just give dolls to un underprivileged children. We knew we wanted to do more, and but we didn't know that it would grow to the point where oh, yeah. we are able to now look at being able to launch the finished dolls. Yeah, it, it's amazing. We did want to, I remember Darlene saying, uh, you know, we would meet every Tuesday night to get together to make our dolls. And I remember her saying, I'd like to see them making dolls all over the world our dolls. Do you remember that? And then I remember we said um, we just want to get dolls into the hands of people who need them. For more information about the Dolly Mamas and their cuckoo dolls, as well as Connect Africa or the Charles River Center, you can visit their websites. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Natalie Guthrie.